we bought our summer house from an old merchant marine who had traveled uh, the world on freighters. And one of my first days here, I'll never forget this, we were out fishing in a, in a very small boat off uh, Port Henry here. And he looked at me and he said, Ron, there are some very strange things in this lake. That sentence hung in my mind and, and really mesmerized me and stayed with me from the ages of 13 to uh, my late 20s when that sentence came back into play. And I'll tell you what happened to that. In 1981, there were a flurry of champ sightings in the Port Henry area. And I was working as a newspaper reporter for the Albany and New York Times Union, which is the major daily paper in Albany, New York, the capital city. And my editors uh, were interested in seeing all these news reports about Champ being sighted just two hours north of Albany, this major lake, Lake Champlain. And uh, I wrote a six-part series chronicling the flurry of activity uh, in the Port Henry area. It was a good story. My paper played it big. Um, so at the time when I was writing the piece and when the pieces were published, I didn't care whether there was a monster in the lake or not. But two years later, almost to the day, my perspective changed dramatically. July 4th weekend, 1983. I am fishing with my girlfriend. Lake Champlain is like glass. And my girlfriend is in the front of the boat. She says, Ron, what's that? I don't pay a whole lot of attention. We're being quiet, we're fishing, trying to catch fish. She says again, Ron, what's that? And she points and I look to where she's pointing. We watched for probably 10 seconds, three large humps that looked like large tires sticking maybe a foot, foot and a half out of the water, motionless. 